<laughs> Blink and you will miss it. According to Motor Trend's recent test, the Tesla Model S Plaid hit 60 miles per hour in a shattering 2.1 seconds. These numbers make the Tesla Model S Plaid the quickest production electric car on the planet. That's quicker than a Bugatti Chiron, which takes 2.3 seconds to go from 0 to 60. The second generation Tesla Roadster will be smaller, lighter, and more comparable to a McLaren or Lamborghini in size than the fairly large Model S. It will be a hardcore smackdown, as Tesla's Elon Musk once said. The head-snapping acceleration of all Tesla cars, which is very noticeable on all models, raises the question, how Tesla cars accelerate so fast? Before we start, if you are new here, it will be greatly appreciated if you liked and subscribed to our channel. It's free, and you will receive a lot of value. When it comes to performance and efficiency, electric cars are far from lacking. The more efficient a car is, the better it performs. The main reason for that is actually because combustion engines have some really serious shortcomings. If you've ever driven a car with a manual transmission, you are intimately familiar with them. But what makes electric cars have better performance and efficiency? We all know that electrons are so fast. They are traveling at about 2200 kilometers a second. This speed is enough to get around the Earth in almost 18 seconds, while the maximum fluid velocity in a pipe is 5 meters per second. Electrons travel much faster through a wire than the fuel does through a pipeline. Electrons basically go straight to the exact place from the battery to the motor coil, while the fuel goes through a fuel pump, then an injector, then sprayed into a piston. Then it's ignited to turn the force which drives the piston to create the torque. This makes combustion engines filled with thousands of parts to transmit the power from the engine to the wheel. With all the moving parts, energy loss occurs due to friction and heat, which makes combustion engines have a very narrow power band. You only get the most power at higher RPM, which means in lower RPM, they produce very little power, and they need to climb the power curve a long way before they really start showing high power. For example, in drag racing, you will see good drivers keep the engine at its maximum RPM before the green light. So when they shift into gear, they are in the right place for maximum acceleration. Electric vehicles perform better because they have fewer and simpler parts. They can accelerate from the top speed without shifting a single gear. And all you have to do is mash the go pedal and you are getting the maximum acceleration your drivetrain can produce. Moreover, the driving force of an electric motor is torque, not horsepower, as in combustion engines. Mathematically, horsepower equals torque multiplied by RPM. In the electric motor, the torque is the twisting force that makes the motor run, and the torque is fully active from 0% to 100% operating speed. This means all of the torque they can produce is available from 0 RPM, which coins the term instant torque. Furthermore, Elon pointed out that Plaid's carbon-wrapped motor is the most advanced motor on the planet outside of a lab, and that they have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for the new Roadster. The main benefit of the new motor is that the carbon sleeve rotor creates a stronger electromagnetic field than a rotor that is held together by metal. Elon pointed out that these are usually made with high-strength steel. Another advantage is that the rotor can go to higher RPM as the carbon sleeve prevents the copper rotor from expanding due to radical acceleration. Batteries in EVs are the core of this technology. In general, a battery's energy density predicts how much energy it can release, meaning how far the car can drive before recharging, while the power density, which is the energy density delivered per second, determines how fast energy can go in and out of the battery. That, in turn, determines how fast a car can accelerate," said Jordi Cabana. The 100 kilowatt hour battery pack found in the Model S Performance makes almost 1,000 horsepower. This is on par with McLaren P1. But the not-so-secret sauce that propels the Model S to supercar performance and shaves off another 1.3 seconds is Ludicrous Plus Mode and Launch Control. Ludicrous Plus Mode arrived in 2017 and maximizes speed by heating the battery to its optimum temperature. This improves the power output by about 46 horsepower, according to DragTime's recent test of the latest firmware update. Finally, traction is one of the most important factors when it comes to racing. 
all-wheel drive now standard on all Tesla Model S and Model X cars. This feature allows the car to maximize traction between the tires and the road. Two electric motors at the front and rear to deliver power to all four wheels at the same time. Another cool feature Tesla uses to maximize the torque is torque vectoring. This feature was originally used in racing. Its main purpose is to transfer the torque independently between wheels, which improves handling and traction in almost any situation. Tesla's software measures how well each of the tires is gripping the road and adjusts torque in the front and rear independently hundreds of times per second to ensure the tires are constantly achieving maximum grip and propelling the car forward. To experience better traction and grip, the tires should be mentioned. Tesla tires are developed with a tread pattern to maximize contact with the ground. In the end, it's not only one feature that makes the best performance, it's a system that maximizes power and efficiency at each stage. While we are at the early stages of EVs, we have an EV sedan that can beat a gasoline supercar. What do you think? How do you see the performance future of EVs?